Citizens speak out. In numerous places across the globe, people are working to improve lives for themselves and fellow citizens as they raise their voices for greater freedom, dignity, and human rights in countries and regions such as Bahrain, Egypt, Israel, Lebanon, Libya, Pakistan, Palestine, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. Pakistani lawmakers issued a resolution calling for an end to U.S. drone attacks in tribal regions, which Agence France Press reports killed 670 people in 2010 alone. The resolution also recommended a review of relations with the US to ensure that Pakistan's national interests are fully respected. On Sunday, Israeli troops fired on protesters in Gaza, the West Bank, and on Israeli borders with Syria and Lebanon, killing at least 10 people and injuring more than 300, as thousands of Palestinians called for the return of ancestral lands and an independent Palestinian state. A Palestinian teenager and a journalist died, and at least 240 others were injured, many of whom were children, as Israeli forces fired tear gas, stun grenades, bullets and tank shells at citizens rallying at the Israeli-Palestinian border crossings of Erez and Kalandia. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of Palestinians whose families have been living in Lebanese refugee camps for decades near the Israeli border rallied on Sunday as well with Israel's increased troops in the area, resulting in five Palestinian deaths. Another four died when around 70 refugees were fired upon as they broke through a border fence from Syria into Israel. In the Golan Heights, Israeli forces also killed 12 people who were calling for the region to be returned to Syria. As conflict continued in Somalia's capital Mogadishu on Friday, May 13, between United Nations-backed transitional government forces and the Al-Shabaab group, 35 people were killed, including 15 civilians. Since the last functioning government was overthrown in 1991, approximately one million people have died due to fighting, as well as famine and disease, with another 1.4 million forced to leave their homes and stay in makeshift dwellings elsewhere to escape the violence. In Egypt, two people were killed and at least 60 were injured on Saturday as a group of unidentified armed men attacked Coptic Christians who were peacefully demonstrating at the state TV offices for improved rights for the minority group. Saudi tanks travelled to occupy Bahrain Sitra, an island south of the capital. While in their homeland, hundreds of Saudis in Awamiya and Katif rallied in solidarity with Bahraini protesters, calling for Saudi troops to withdraw immediately, while urging the government's respect of human rights, freedom of expression and release of political prisoners. After violence from Yemeni security forces resulted in the deaths of three demonstrators on Friday, gunmen in civilian clothing opened fire on Saturday on protesters in Taiz, wounding 35 people, some critically, as tens of thousands called for the rapid resignation of President Ali Abdullah Saleh. Syrian security forces opened fire as more than 500 civilians, mostly women and children, fled the Syrian border town of Tal Kalak into Lebanon on Saturday. Three people died instantly and many more were injured, including one man whose wounds turned out to be fatal. Al Jazeera reports that as many as 2,000 people may have escaped from Tal Kalak into Lebanon over the weekend. Meanwhile, British Foreign Office political director Jeffrey Adams called for the end of the repressive violence by President Bashar al-Assad's forces and the release of all political prisoners. According to Euronews, Libyan revolutionaries have been able to secure control of the western city of Miserata with the hope of soon easing conditions for its residents who were previously besieged by government forces. Meanwhile, French President Nicolas Sarkozy received a visit from a senior leader of Libya's interim government, Muammar Jibril, to discuss the country's next steps of transition. In sorrow for the cherished lives lost, we pray for a cessation of strife in all nations as citizens everywhere choose to live in harmonious freedom, dignity and peace.